gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Okay, coming. Mom. Hey, Mom, wake up. Mm. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, Espen. I'm up. <clears throat> Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Espen, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. <sighs> Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get a flashlight and I'll come out with you. Look at the stars, Espen. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here! <sighs> we could make some hot chocolate. Mom! Are you done in there, Espen? Espen? Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Aspen. Come out! 
Jesus, Espen, what are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. I was only kidding, I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay, but don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier is broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend that I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing, and I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself or Espen. Espen, why didn't you wake me up? Espen, want some breakfast or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. I loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight, and his drawings fascinated. Espen! Ooh, it's freezing. What is it doing out in this cold? Espen? I hope you're not down on the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. Jesus, Jesus, Espen, get away from him! Espen, I'm coming! No! Oh God, please! Espen, Espen! Espen!
Ben. Shit, this can't be happening. It's Ben. Is someone there? I should look around. was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, Later, I wasn't so sure. <gasps> this is Espen's. He must have dropped it. I'm coming, Espen. loved his reflectors. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was that the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more. A trail. And as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. Espen! They can't be far ahead.
jump, I'll have to go down. <laughs> 